What's up everybody? It's John Jack with Crippled Fox Gaming and as you can see today I'm going to be doing a paint tutorial on the flyers from the Empire of Dust uh, for Armada by Mantic Games. This is the Bone Dragon and this is the Swarm of Carrion or Scavengers or whatever you want. They're basically, a, it's a whole bunch of vultures flying in a in a vulture pile? Sure, that's that's a, that, a pile of vultures. That's what I'm going to call it. So uh, I'm going to do those, and I'm going to show you how uh, I'm going to do these bases. These are the textured bases that come with the uh, the um, set, and all the sets come with that. And it didn't occur to me that um, I got these. These are the things that the the little uh, clear acrylic. Uh, stands come in. I got this and so I was like, oh well, why didn't they come with two? Oh well, they do come with two. They've got two stands right here. You don't need a, a, a round stand because you won't be uh, measuring from that. So I am going to start with this and the way I'm going to do this, I am going with kind of how I did my ships. I'm going to do the bases first because that's going to be the easiest and I am doing this on the wing, as they say. I haven't figured out how to do a hyperlapse and how to talk over it yet. So maybe I'll do that later and you don't have to hear me, listen to me babble on and on. So I'm going to get some water on my palette, which you've probably seen before if you watch any of my other painting tutorials. It's the lid to a frozen cookie Otis Spunkmeyer frozen cookie dough thing. So I'm going to do... I've had this color, it's Deep Ocean by uh, Reaper uh, Master Series Paints. I've had this, I think I bought this one whenever the heck this first came out. And it's a great color that I used for my uh, terrain as well, because I used that on uh, some of these things, if I can find them. I need to go and dig through some stuff. But all these are how I did my islands, and I am going to uh, do a little tutorial on how I did some of these in the f near future. But um, there's deep ocean, and then there's a surf aqua. That's a similar, it's like a lighter kind of version of that, but I think the deep ocean was what I did around the edges of this. And I, uh, what I did was I, went through and just Google searched islands, you know, aerial shots of islands, and it's kind of a good, it's, I mean, good heavens, Google is a free search, or a free service. So you can, uh, you know, kind of copy uh, however you want these things to be done. If you want them to be uh, very realistic, or if you want them to be kind of cartoony, or however you want them, or if you just want them to be islands with no surrounding surf, but I'm kind of half in between the two. So what I'm gonna do, I am going to I'm going to put these on the medicine bottle with some blue tack on the top and just I'm going to squish these on there and hopefully they'll stay. And you're probably, if you're hearing any crunching that sounds like a little dog crunching a plastic bottle, that's what it is. I got my pups coming over there. You get them all sorts of uh, toys and he's going to chase your plastic bottles and knotted up socks around. So I've got this and I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna add some water to that. And the way I do this, I prime everything white because it kind of saves a step, I think, when you're doing um, bases and when you're doing anything, quite frankly. I'm gonna go with these and it kind of, the, the blue will, the, the white kind of brings out the natural highlights in the, uh, in the base coat and this people do this with the contrast paints that's that's a big that's the big draw now but then also uh i've said this before james waffle had done this tinted base coat uh years ago you know before it was cool you know if you want to get all hipster in this thing so that's kind of what i'm going to be doing i'm just going to do this and i'll set that aside while i do the other one and then i'm going to go around it with eh, maybe not maybe i think i'll just leave it blue because it'll blend in with the mat better and I've got this, it's just gonna be a quick, super quick thing. And then I'm gonna set it off to the side and I'm gonna let it, I've got a little fan that, oh, it's just one of those like a dollar store fan that you use when you're really hot. It's got a little schwitzy thing in it. Put it on the top of this, hey presto, boom. 
I'll sit there and dry that thing off, but I'm not gonna do that here, but it's good because it's going to be annoying. And so I've got, I'm gonna do this kind of to for the base and I'm gonna set that off to the side, hopefully out of earshot and hopefully out of the uh, range of the dog's teeth. And so I'm gonna do that while I do the other. And I am out of, no, I'm not, there we go. Same thing on these, because these have their little gripper things that I can use to paint on with. So I'm gonna do this while the other ones are, while that other one's kind of drying, and then I'll dry brush some uh, wave caps over the tops of that. So just go along the edges of this and call it good. I'm gonna try to do some more of this stuff because we've been doing a lot of Dreadball content on on uh, Crippled Fox Gaming, and I love it. It is the it is my favorite game. It's my favorite tabletop miniatures game now. And uh, but I want to get some more different different things out there. So I'm gonna just keep doing this stuff. There's some little painting tutorials and maybe some more battle reports, and maybe there's the new hotness called uh, Overdrive that's coming out soon. That someone might be doing some demos in advance of Gen Con so I can get my patter down. There. That base, I should have primed the other ones so I could just do those as well. And if I need it, I'll go ahead. I'm just gonna let those dry while I'm working on these things. This, the bone dragon, I think is going to be super easy to, to do quite frankly, because it's going to be, well, it's bone. And I'm going to think it's probably a really bleached bone. It's not going to be like a, um, like a bog bone kind of thing where you've got, you know, skeletons that are, oh, well, these have been buried in the earth for a while. You know, the, the empire of dusts, uh, shtick is that they're, uh, they're not Egyptian, but they're Egyptian adjacent. So, um, we're going to do that kind of as the, uh, I'm pretty sure, get this brush all cleaned off. I'll probably use one of the other ones. There we go. Had a dog emergency. Anyway, so I've got this kind of wider brush. I think I'm going to try it with the Bone Shadow because I think that'll give it a nice, uh, it'll sink into those recesses and instead of doing i've let I, this is just white primer like i said I, like i prime everything in white um i'm gonna do a little bit of this and i think it's a similar color because i looked at pictures of uh african uh uh and egyptian uh vultures and they're kind of a they're not black like turkey vultures they've got kind of a nice gray neck and a brown and kind of a grayish brown body and then darker uh wings a lot a lot like well a lot like the way the the, the picture was painted in the um in uh the mantic uh examples of that i'll look that up so i can get a nice uh, get a picture of how that works so i can know what colors to throw on it go ahead and just put this on here The head, I'm debating, the eyes are really deep set. There's little, there's almost, let's see if I can get a, get a pin or something and kind of show you the depth. There, the eyes go in, actually inside, and I am contemplating putting a little bit of like electric green or an electric blue kind of color in there to kind of make it look uh, all spooky and uh, otherworldly and stuff like that. So, and again, I'm just, I've watered this way down and I'm just going to brush this on there. And then what I'll probably do is I will do the same thing as I did with the other ones. I'm just going to set it down by the fan while I kind of multitask and do all these things at one time. Because why, why do one thing well when you can do a bunch of things, uh, you know, half-assed. So, so I'm going to get this, I'm going to try to get these done. And they're small, so it's going to be a nice short little thing there's not a whole lot of I mean they're detailed but they're not oh here's this here's this different uh, satchel and here's this different colored tattoo you need to work on and 
I'm not going to do that stuff on these. I think I'm just going to, we're going to make these nice and small and kind of quick. And so you can get them on the table by Friday, hopefully, maybe. I'm doing, we're doing uh, Mantic Friday Nights down at Gauntlet Games here in Lincoln, Nebraska. We're having uh, uh, the, the Outlanders come down from Omaha. And we've got other people coming down. Uh, down there, we're doing Armada, and we're doing a lot of a lot of Kings of War stuff. So we were doing uh, uh, getting that Mantic vibe going on the Fridays, and so we can kick that back into gear. We got the uh, Worldwide Halpies Rift campaign coming up at the end of the month. Uh, uh, check out Mantic's website; I'll throw it up in the uh, in the comments and stuff like that. Make sure and hit the like and subscribe too while we're while we're talking about stuff. I'm going to put on the on the uh, screen this is stuff i'm doing with i'm not doing this with obs i'm just doing this on my phone because it's quick and it's dirty and i want to get it done and instead of having to kind of reset all my camera settings and all my stuff and i'm going to just you know, just keep spreading some of this color around and i'll put that over on there a lot of times what i'll do sometimes if i want something to uh there's, uh, you know, I've said it before, there's, there's, uh, the, your paint can dry, but it might not necessarily be cured. So uh, what sometimes will happen if you go over it with a different color or a different highlight or something you want to do, it will re-wet or reactivate the paint and it'll just, the whole thing will just kind of go to smash. So it's, uh, This is a little bit darker than I wanted, but I'm going to I'm going to dry brush it out all with the um, the bone triad from uh, Reaper Mini Paints, Reaper Paints, whatever they're, they're they, they change their name so they could, you know, sell them in different stores that don't mind having uh, it's the Master Series paints. But they have a triad, which is uh, bone shadow, um, aged bone, and then I think the top one's polished bone. And these are new ones that I've had to get because over the years, that was one of the first triads that I bought was um, the bone triad. And then there were other flesh triads. There's um, dark flesh. There's bronzed flesh. There's fey flesh. There's undead flesh. There's ghoul flesh. There's all sorts of triads you can get. And uh, yeah, I'll throw those on the, on the descriptions for this thing as well. What I might do real quick is just take this and kind of pad off some of that extra paint that doesn't need to be on the outs on the uh, high spots of this let's see if that's gonna actually work actually that's kind of doing what i wanted it to do i missed a spot underneath here underneath the hand and underneath that right arm and underneath oh underneath the neck as well i'm gonna take that vase off that little uh, pin and uh clean that off so it looks kind of looks nice so we're going to do this get all this done oh good heavens there's a whole bunch underneath there and you know if you want your if your dragon's going to go into a tailspin you don't want the underside to not be painted because uh that's uh that's unprofessional it's un it's uh just not it's just not cricket so we'll do this and then i'll pad a little bit of this off and i might take a look at that other one there so there's a the um, the color palette for those is going to be kind of a brown and a black with a white kind of a light gray neck on the um, on the uh, swarm of carrion or scavengers or whatever they call it I still can't remember because I don't pay attention to my own talking so I'm gonna set this down here in the little fan area and I'm just gonna do this again. This is this is another reason why I don't enter uh, painting competitions. I like it. I like doing it as a hobby, but I just you know it's tabletop. It's gonna be tabletop good, and I like it. You know, it's fun. If I if I did this for money, it'd be a job. So I'm gonna go with. Oh, that is kind of a. It's an interesting brown. There's a Lone Star leather, I think, that I will use on the base. I'm gonna swing this up real quick, and this is the picture that I've got for reference. And that's just off their website. So I'm gonna do it kinda like that. I might not get as super detailed on the neck feathers and the highlight feathers as that did. Oops. No, I don't need to be looking at my ceiling while I'm painting. 
So I'm going to go with... Mm -hmm. I just had that pin. I'm going to do some... Uh... Hey, how about talking with a paintbrush in your mouth? I'm going to do some... Um... Paint tutorials on how I painted the uh, League of Infamy set as well. I'm doing some stuff for Mantic. And uh, you can see it in person if you are going to Gen Con. Because there is, uh, there are some events. And some most of them, I think, might be sold out. But they are, it is a custom-made scenario called Hostile Takeover. That is going to be um, at... Gen Con for Mantic Games, and it is a six-person League of Infamy scenario. Six players, you say? Surely you meant four. No, I mean six, because the Pharaoh demanded that there be six players, so we can get more people at a game table, which is going to be kind of fun. I'm anxious to see um, how it works. Now I just have to play, play, play test it. I've got it in my head, but I'm not, I don't have it um, quite... Uh, Worked out in uh, writing it up and so on and so forth. So I'm just going to go with this. I'm going to do it really quick. And I'm going to get these um, these uh, under feathers painted quick. And then I'm just going to go... Actually, I might uh, kind of wet blend those a little bit. Or well, we'll see. I'm kind of looking at it as I'm painting. Hopefully this is coming through. Um, I'm going to do this. And these are kind of the shorter feathers. These aren't the 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 flight feathers these are just these kind of uh, the body feathers and the, uh, the, uh, the the meaty part of the wing feathers and remember there's an underside to this so we're gonna go under here throw some paint up on that and we'll do the same thing over here on these underneath and the body and the body there and I think those are wing feathers and I'm going to do this because I don't know what that part of that is it's just kind of smooth so we're going to go with this and um, kind of just keep all this going and I'm going to try to get this all done while we're waiting for that other stuff to dry and then I will come back and uh, let's see come down here underneath if I just start go top to bottom, that would be smart, but unfortunately, uh, my brain tends to wander about, and if you ever talk to me, you know that. Uh, start a start a story, and there will be uh, a, 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 a prodigious number of side tracks and sidebars and stuff that I go on, but uh, you know, you've got to know the backstory about everything, right? Oh, wait, that's right. That's You, you don't. All right, so I'm going to do this. Got that there. Uh, that's a black feather. It looks like coming from underneath that. I like how this looks. I do think it's kind of funny, though. A, a flying pile of vultures. Or maybe they would just say conglomeration of vultures. So I'm going to set this over here. And I'll be right back. Got the... These bases, you know what, they, these look pretty good the way they are. But I'm going to go over them with my old crappy, crappy brush. And I think I've talked about these before, but there are at Kohl's, you can get these e.l.f. brushes. They're makeup brushes, eyeshadow brush, and blending eye brush. These are so dense. These, these brushes are really super dense, and they are perfect for dry brushing. If you've got a lot of stuff to dry brush, or if you got just, you know, narrow stuff. There's another one. I can't think of what it's called, but I, because I've used them until they wore out. But I'm going to use the eyeshadow brush, I think. And, uh, maybe go over that dry brush over that a little bit with uh, the Surf Aqua might be just about the same color. Because as that dipped down, it kind of... Uh, the... Uh, the, the paint congeal down in those recesses, uh, kind of like it wants to, but I think also it left it, yeah, it's it's basically the same color. So what I did, uh, you know, so you've saved yourself two steps is basically what I'm saying. Um, you've got the shadow and then you've got the base color. So, hey presto, these are 90% done. Okay, 75% uh, done. Cause I'm gonna do a little bit more. I'm gonna go with a, 
There's an LED blue. That's still just really close. So I'm going to go, I'm going to skip that and I'm going to go with this. Uh, I, I, <laughs> I don't know what color this is. It's a very, 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 very light blue. There is a ghost white that is somewhere in my paint collection and I don't know where it went. Um, oh, here it is. Oh, that's the, there's a, my mistake, it's not a ghost white, it's a maggot white. It's a little bit more green in it. So that's a little bit more green, this is a little bit more blue. I'm gonna go, you know what, I'm gonna use a little bit of both. I'm not, I'm not going straight white just yet. Um, because I'll use that at the very, very tippy tops of the, of the waves. And again, I'm just dry brushing these as I go. So I'm gonna go with that, I'm gonna put this here. There's a linen white, I think I will, no, we're gonna go with straight white. So this is the kind of bluish white that was at the end of that. And I'm just gonna, you know, just really lightly, just gonna drag this across and I've kinda, if you wanna really dry brush it, you dry brush most of that paint off of it. But that I think was too much, I took too much off because these brushes are so dense. I'm just gonna go at it with this way. Just gonna keep keep going this way. This might. And I'm gonna do the other, the maggoty white on this one. This is a little bit lighter. And again, I'm just barely brushing the tops of these waves, just really keeping it really loose. I'm not <clears throat> getting in there and jamming it in there because it's just gonna not work out very well. But. Uh, I keep hearing my yokai is kind of having issues. He's t my dog is teething, so he's like a whiny little kid, which is too bad. I feel bad for him, but he also likes to chew on ice cubes. And I'll give him one, and then he will chew on it and, and be very happy. And then he'll whine until he gets another one, and then he goes and puts it somewhere where I don't notice it until it's too late and it has now melted on the carpet. So I get a nice wet sock, which is not my favorite thing. Um, so I'm going with the straight white uh, with this. And again, I'm just gonna just, just barely hit the very tip tops of those waves. Maybe I'm gonna go this way a little bit and get some on that. And that might be, oh, that's kind of a, I'm getting it. It's kind of a downdraft from, uh, from the, from the flying, uh, oh, what's it called? It's, uh, uh, the prop wash, but these aren't, oh, he has hover. And I found out what that meant. I'm going to do also, I am going to be doing a, uh, a uh, flyers, how do they work uh, video at some point, because I was reading over those today on my break and uh, it's, I'm really anxious for this now. I got these because they're super cool, but now I really want to incorporate them into my um, Armada stuff. So I'm very, very excited about this whole thing. And uh, not like I don't get excited about everything that comes out, but you know, this is kind of a neat thing. I'm going to leave that white on there because if I need to see this, this is, see that right there, that's already 90% done, I'd say. I'm gonna. I might go in and pick out the horns in a different color. Maybe a. Maybe like a. a lev, um, kind of a yellowish white. Maybe a little bit more. But I'm just gonna go with the. Just gonna go with the triad. I'm gonna go with the. It's the uh, aged bone. And I do not need a lot of this. I have a tendency to, put too much paint on the palette. But, especially for something like this where it's very very small, um, you don't need a lot. So I am going to, yeah, that's what I'm using this for. I don't know, maybe I'm gonna go back to the other one, but that's still very wet. And that's another thing. If you have uh, like a little filbert brushes, uh, this is a, oh, who knows what this is. Uh, it is a, oh, it is a filbert, but it's a wide, uh, wider base. I'm just gonna, again, I'm just dry brushing. You kind of go against the, uh, the, the, the lie of the, the, the texture. So if you're, I'm not painting down into it, I'm painting on, um, I'm painting against it. So it will pick up those highlights and I may, I may go back and end up washing this, but I 
kind of I kind of dig where this is going. It's it's very simple. I mean, it's a it's a, it's how many colors of bones are there that you want on a dragon? And they did they did a really good job. The guy who I don't know if that was the um, who uh, who did these uh, versions on their on their website, but they look really great, and I like it. So I'm gonna you know what I think I am. I'm gonna go with uh, try to make this even harder for me. I'm gonna go with I'm gonna take a very very small uh brush i've got my there's a two watt i'm gonna do this and i might have to really just go in there with a little bit of this was a game i don't know even what this color was called but it's a game color i've had this for probably 15 15 years because this is all i really use it for is like a magically kind of magical kind of green and so i'm doing this I'm going to watch this uh, afterwards and hopefully I don't, uh, hopefully everything stays in focus in the right spot because I'm trying to kind of, actually I might want to dip a little more water in that. So if I mess up on it, it's going to go in there. I just need it to sink into that recess in there. And... Mm. More in there because it's not really showing up so what I probably should have done or what I could do now also I will go around it with a dark color to make sure you can see the lighter color within it because it will be a, make a difference as far as how that shows up yeah, because I'm not going to try to do an OSL on that thing, because that would be, you know, unless I got my, unless you get your, you know, your 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 3x lighted magnifying glasses, which I have actually, and they're they're very very useful. I'm going to go with. What do I want? I don't want that same kind of. Here, let's do this. We've got a stained ivory that I think I'm going to go over those. Now that might not make a difference because it's very close to the colors that are already on there. So it's going to be, is it? Yeah, it's very much the same color. It's, it's, it's hard to, to kind of tell that apart. I could make it a lot more yellow. I guess I could do that. I've got some, and these are all these different, there's a yellow bone. This I'm going to use this, it's, it's the golden skin. It's from part of the Golden Skin Triad, and that's still, boy, that's still not much different in tone from that other thing. So what I might do is just on these horns, I'm going to go with, I'm going to take it and I'm going to, uh, I'm going to go with uh, just that white, white, and really kind of try to put some highlights on this thing, I think. Huh. That's what I'm going to do. Let's see if... Yeah, you know what? Let's just do this. I'm going, to, I'm going to take it short and quick and I'm going to knock this thing out pretty quick. Ah, there's enough of a well, there was on that side. There was enough of a texture in that to make that, to catch that white. I'll post some of these if you, um, I've got uh, the, the Crippled Fox Gaming Facebook group, uh, or, or Facebook page. I'll post some of these on there as well if you want to get, because I'm not going to go in there, because you'll have to look at my you know, shaved head while I'm trying to paint this thing, because I'm going to have to duck down and really really get in there so i think you know what? i think that turned out fairly well i may go in and darken around the uh the eye on that but for right now i'm gonna call that done and hey why don't i just do this i'm gonna take a little blue, bit of blue tack and show you what the whole thing looks like i'm gonna do that one first i'm gonna go like this and put this in here before i glue it glue it and uh you've got yourself and remember, these are resin, so they're very fiddly. But there. Uh, 
It's not too bad. And that was, uh, you know, that, that's a 15, 15 minute paint job on that guy. I think it looks pretty good. I'm going to take that off and kind of carve off some of that, uh, that, uh, uh, the, 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 the spillover I've got from those, the uh, other colors that I got on the bottom of that guy. Uh, but it did make it a lot easier to paint. And I'm going to paint the, uh, the orc versions tomorrow, which is the Winget and the uh, Slasher with the, the, the big box of angry orcs that it's toting around underneath it. I'm going to do that tomorrow. So I'm going to do this and I will be right back. Alrighty, I have got the vultures in hand and I am going to... I think what I'm going to do on the black on the wings, because nothing is ever really black black, it is, there's, there's different colors of black. There's red black, there's brown black, there's gray black, there's blue black, there's green black. So black in pigment is just all of the colors thrown together in a big jumble. Um, Dark Elf Shadow, this is another one of the triads. You've got Dark Elf Shadow, Dark Elf Skin and Dark Elf Highlight. This is kind of a nice, it's a grayish black. It's almost a purplish black. So I'm gonna go with that. I do a lot of that on when I'm painting like black leather. Um, I'm gonna do this on these, just on these, on the, on the long feathers here. And I'm just gonna go with this. And it's gonna, again, it's gonna kind of highlight the ones that I want. And I won't, and I can, I can go back over it with some of the, uh, the dark elf skin highlights. But I think if I don't sit and talk about this, uh, I mean, I will get better at narrating. And at some point, I will have a long, a quicker uh, painting tutorial than sitting me. You can sit here and watch me in real time, or it can, uh, you know, you can play it as uh, ASMR when you're going to sleep. You can hear me droning on and on and I'm at present I'm reading uh, Good Omens to a, 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 a special person uh, as uh, they, we uh, hunker down to, for, uh, to uh, relax and go to sleep. I think I needed more of that. I did not get enough. For once I got too little amount of paint. a little bit more. I'm going to go, since I missed a little bit of the brown on the back of this, I'm just going to go with a little more black on the back of that. That tail feather, I'm just going to kind of do this and go around underneath this. I will do the underside. And the, the necks, I think what I'm going to do on the necks, since they're kind of not corrugated, but they've got that texture where the wrinkles and the feathers and the and the skin on the neck are um, like uh, uh, they're 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 textured differently. Uh, what I think I'm going to do on those is I'm just going to go with uh, uh, a light gray and uh, kind of see how that turns out. Again, I'm not going to. This is this is a very small single unit for. I mean, this isn't going to be the. Uh, the uh it's not going to be the monolith version of a this is a these are support uh support units and they 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 very much uh as as you're going through if you if you got the um seas of flame expansion for uh, uh for armada they do kind of talk about it that way these are not your front lines these are harriers these are things you're going to use in the game when you need to get rid of smaller things these aren't you're not going to stick a, a bunch of flyers on a massive battleship because um the way flyers work i'll kind of give you a brief synopsis while i'm painting this to kind of keep uh, keep you from just listening to me breathe uh the way flyers work they've got a certain move stat where you can move your full move stat while you're doing this and then you if you make an attack you're basically going to stop part of your movement during that attack, and then um, you will uh, you'll roll your dice. But then also anyone 
uh, any ship that is within three inches of these flyers, as they are doing their attack, they're going to make retaliatory strikes. But it's hard to hit flyers from a ship deck. And so what's going to happen is they will roll their, you'll roll your dice and they'll roll their dice. And um, you use your crew strength, which is what you'll do uh, uh, from the ships. And as well as these, uh, flyers don't have guns, they've got a crew strength. So they've got, um, and uh, you will both roll and flyers get hit on sevens. But uh, so they're, they're very hard to hit. But if they, if they do hit, um, you'll do, uh, they do two, uh, two wounds, criticals do four wounds. Um, and they, uh, you know, they have a certain, uh, um, nerve value, but their nerve, uh, successes are four plus, I believe, uh, instead of, um, oh, 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 whatever the other ones, I think, I think they're five plus because they're, you know, they're flyers they are a lot more resilient. Uh, they can't repair themselves obviously cause they're flyers. Uh, because you're not going to have, unless I think it would be really, really funny if the goblin wing gets were able to kind of cobble together their, their, uh, their, to be able to repair themselves as they're going along with, you know, lots of screeching and, and, and ropes and yelling at the other pilot. Um, I'm going to go with this. I am just going to, I'm going to black belly this guy because he's very much underneath the, I'm not going to mess with a whole lot of that. Um. You've got, there's some under wing color. As I get older, I find my vision is not the best. And so if you could still, I, I don't think I've, I, I think I've positioned it well, the camera well enough that you're not staring at my head, which is smart because, uh, you know, there's only so much, uh, you can do with the shaved head when you had a, Nice hair Pangea that drifted off into continents. I said, nope, we're going Star Trek Genesis wave on this, and off it went. So I've got, there, uh, there's two colors on the board. I'm going to do the gray around the neck, and maybe do a little highlight over that, and I'm going to call this good. Um, I'm going to get a smaller brush. That. Go with um, I'm gonna go with a gray you can actually see. So I am going to go with uh, there is hmm, there's a gray, not so much in that. So we're gonna go with um, the wolf gray. That's kind of a nice basic gray. Uh, I've got my paint set up in the. Uh, Ironheart Artisans uh, uh, paint paint holders, and it holds them this way, so you don't have to shake them uh, when they're right side up. I'll be right back. Oh, there we go. That's perfect. I've got a nice blue bottle fly in here that says uh, infiltrated the Fort Cash money that uh, I'm not a fan of, because it tends to buzz right into my ear. I'll hold these up at the end so you can kind of see. Uh, maybe yeah, I'll hold them up a little bit higher. I hope it's in focus enough. I'll probably look and see. When I'm done with this, I'm gonna paint the beaks black because they're... So it's kind of an interesting way. I wish I could figure out a way to uh, GoPro this and where it would, the GoPro, GoPro would be from my field of vision because that's, that's a thing, right? You can do that. You can put cameras in your eyeballs eventually. I think also I might, this might be a time To that's this is more of a detail brush than a although when you're painting things an eighth of an inch, quarter of an inch, I suppose that's kind of a 
detail work. I may, may, may go in and do the eyes on these things because vulture eyes are just, they're just black. They're black and beady and the, um, might have to sit and let this dry a little bit because these are right. I should have, there's a little bit of a bump on the top of these heads. I think that was where the, uh, the sprue was. I don't recall exactly because I've kind of put these together in a hurry so I could get these get this one to put out there. I think I'm going to let this dry. Or I'm, going to, I'm going to uh put down a little fan thing and then I will come back and dry brush this. Okay, I'm going to try to get this a little bit over the black feathers. I think I'm going to touch up some of the spots that I missed. Sometimes the water will have a little bubble in it or something and don't want white bits on your wings. That's just that's just terrible. Come on. What what am I what, am I, what, what did I just start painting yesterday? Jeez, what the heck? Um let's go there. Right there, a little bit there. Um hmm. found out something while I was taking a little break. He, uh, you know what? If you buy sour cream. Uh, uh, it, it does go bad. I mean, sour cream doesn't just stay sour cream forever. It, it eventually uh, uh, morphs into something else, which I'm not going to talk about that right now. Um, especially when, when the expiration date was February of 2021, and it's, oh, August. Yeah, I think this has to go. So I've got, I think I am going to... I think this might not be the way to go with dry brushing this. I'm going to go with a smaller, and I'm just going to, I'm going to dry brush over the, no, you know what, actually, this is, this has dried kind of quite a bit. I'm going to go with a, there is a, does a Terran khaki, which is a little bit, a little bit brown and a little bit, uh, a little bit yellowy. I'm going to go, I'm going to, dry brush over the, the uh, light parts with this. I don't need much, so. And then I'm gonna go over the, um, actually, I think I'm gonna go over the uh, black with a little bit of, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna do, that's not right. Uh, there is the Dark Elf Highlight, which is a little, it's almost a purple that purplish kind of gray and then also I think I'm going to go over it with a little bit of aircraft gray which is a little bit more of a gray like a light color I'm just really going to do some light light brushing with those I think I'll flip this over to the drier side and really get that Try to dry, dry, dry brush this on there. I think that might actually work. You know what? I think. That might be a light enough color. Hmm. The heads I'm not going to, I'm really not going to worry about as much because I'm not they're, they're so fit, they're so teeny, and there's not a whole lot of detail to them. And I have, I'm the kind of person who, if, if there's no detail there, I can't do something with it. I can't paint a face on a balloon, that kind of thing. Oh, this looks exactly like someone's face. Nope, that's not this guy. I enjoy this too much to, to try to... I mean, you can always improve. There's always room for improvement. But then there's also, how much do I really want to put into this? Um, okay, now I'm going to go over the gray, or the black with a little bit of the, uh, well, that's not dry enough. Hey, how are you doing here? And there's actually some of these feathers, if you really get in there, have texture, which is, that's just bananas. But that's what you can get with resin. Uh, you can get those tiny, tiny, tiny little textured details. And if I wanted to get out my 
super, super cheaters, I would, but I'm not gonna, not for this right now. I think we've got a pretty good handle on how these are gonna go. Um, you know what, I think I'm gonna use this, I'm gonna use this, because that's, I don't wanna get too much in there. I'm just gonna literally just kinda touch all the tips of all the things. And it's not, you know, it doesn't turn out too shabby. Although, I can't tell if I, something broke off or if that was a bubble in the resin. Actually, that points. So I may, you know what? I kind of like this. The, the necks aren't as ruffled. I think I will go in and, and maybe do a little bit on those. Don't lick your brushes. I don't recommend it at all. No one ever licks their brushes, ever, ever, ever. That's a terrible idea uh, for you to get. I don't know who would have started you thinking thusly, but it sure wasn't me, and that is the story I'm going to stick to. Uh, I didn't need the polished bone. That's there. Oh, there's another version of polished bone, which is actually... Uh, a light enough gray that I might use that to highlight in the uh, neck ruffles. Yeah, that's roughly about the same. I'll just do that because I've got this. This is the other bottle of. Uh... Oh, let's do that. This is the other bottle. This is the original bottle of polished bone that I've had. You know, since whenever this skew number was good. All right, let's just kind of. Oh, I really, really. And it's just, I'm just going to do some light lines. Well, that's not so much a line as it is a blob or a dollop. But I'm going to go, I wonder if I can kind of brush with the side of this and kind of get some of those other details. There's not a lot there to do, though, I think. So I think... I'm getting pretty close to calling this done, I think, because I'm not going to, I'm not, uh, I may go in and brush, oh boy, I may go in and uh, do a little drip of uh, like a flesh wash, like the Reichland flesh shade, the gloss Reichland flesh shade on those necks, but you know what, I don't think it's going to make that much of a difference, especially since it's this is one model that's going to be on the tabletop of dozens of others. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to go in and I'm going to use, this is a brown liner, which is a really, really thick pigment. And I am going to throw on my other uh, painting uh, uh, cheaters, which is a... Really nice. You may get to see the top of my head after all. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. I'm gonna go in and get these eyes. Maybe I'm gonna do the beaks first though, I think, since they're kind of just right there. Oh, this one I really messed up. Up really super close, you can kind of see that there's um, I kind of, I missed some of the flash that was on these, but then if you're getting that close to look at my stuff, uh, uh, A, what are you doing in my house? And B, uh, can I help you with something? I'm just going to go in and get maybe... Oh, that's... I made the comment that when I go in to paint these to someone that you have to breathe like a sniper because I was thinking that there was a certain way, but then again, snipers don't hold their breath. They, uh, from what I understand, they 
very, very slowly relax and let it out. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong because I am not of the... Oh, nerds. You know what? Uh, 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 this is a goth uh, vulture. I'm going to call it good. And that one is too. You know what? I think this doesn't look too terrible. It's got some highlights. It's got some depth. Uh, I'm not going to sit here and make you watch me wait for this to dry. They uh, they did a great job with the, the, the details on these things. I can't believe... Well, I'm sure these are, these are supposed to be giant vultures because, you know, the people are... What is it? Six millimeter? Is that the scale? So they're going to be teeny, teeny, eeny, weeny, weeny, bitty guys. So uh, these giant vultures, I think, are good. So I'm going to stick these right on here thusly. And there you go. You've got a flock of buzzards that are flying in formation, so much so that they may be like a rat king vulture kind of thing. So here you go. These are the uh, Empire of Dust flyers. I'm going to have to adhere this a little bit better. And uh, I'm John, and this is Crippled Fox Gaming. Thanks for watching, and hit the like and subscribe. I'm going to be doing some more stuff. I'm going to try to put out some more content, because I enjoy doing this. I hope you enjoy watching it. Have fun, and uh, stay safe, everybody. Uh, don't do silly things. Try to catch you later.